All right, well, I started by removing the um, wood at the bottom here to give access to the engine. Uh, as you can see, the pump is right at the front. Uh, this is an MD 2020D on a Bavaria 32. Um, I've had a small water leak from um, the little weeping uh, slot here at the back of the pump. It's between the two seals, the, the seawater seal and the oil seal. The seawater seal is the one that you can see here around the spindle and it's black and as you can see just about it's very very corroded inside this spring that holds the seal onto the spindle is is rotted away so i need to replace that seal um, it might be that the spindle is worn in which case you have to get either a new pump which is expensive or a um, wear kit which is expensive so given that i've got a couple of spare um, seals um, this is a, a new one here um, I'm going to try just to see if I can get away with replacing the seal. So the numbers on it, you can just about see there. GACO, GACO, number is this, DPSM 12247. Now, those numbers 12247, they actually relate to the size of the seal. So 12 millimetres is the internal diameter, 24 is the outside diameter across, and 7 is the thickness. Um, so any suitable seal that has those dimensions, uh, 12, 24, 7, will be fine. Um, it looks to me like this Volvo one has, I can't quite see, has a, I can't tell if that's stainless steel or copper, that, that spring. Um, but there are high quality ones you can get that definitely do have stainless steel in. And uh, they're only a few quid. And obviously they're very expensive from, from, from Volvo. But there's two of these in there. There's the one that you can see facing outwards and that's sealing against water. And one behind it, after a spacer, which is sealing against oil from the engine coming out. If you have oil from the engine coming out, you need to replace the inner one, which faces inwards. And if you have water dripping out of the uh, wheat pole, you need to replace the one that you can see there with um, a new one. Um, with the spring facing outwards. So I'm now going to attempt to get out that old one without taking the pump off. I've got a sophisticated tool here um, made from a coat hanger. And I'm gonna poke that into the slot at the back and try and push the old seal out. Uh, well, it turned out that the coat hanger was uh, a bit too thick to get in the slot. So I made another tool out of an old stainless stir, um, circlip, quite a thick one this, so it does, uh, yeah, when you put force on it, it does resist. What you don't want to see is oil coming out of there, because if there's oil, you have to replace the oil seal as well, um, which is facing the engine, the, the, the engine side of the slot. And that probably means removing the pump. I read online that one person was able to pull it out from the front, but I wouldn't fancy trying that. Anyway, the seal, my water seal is just beginning to move a bit now. It's coming out, uh, it's just beginning to shift there. So I'm going to keep poking with my circuit tool and we'll see what happens. Right, so I'm going in again on this side. Got the tool in the slot and I'm pushing. You can see the, yeah, you can see the seal popping out there. So I can, I can really get a grip of it now. I'm reluctant to use, um, you know, to, to wreck it. Some people recommend putting a screw into there. I don't recommend that because if, um, if you wreck it, then basically you're not sailing until you've got a new pump, got the old pump off, installed it, and everything else, which I don't fancy that. So it's a bit of a game. But it's always lovely when you get that first bit of movement, and there's quite a bit of movement there. I'd say it's at least a millimetre out all the way around. So I'm just going to keep pushing. It's just a push fit, there's no um, nothing else in there. I'm 
sure if there's a better tool than this, but I'm not. Oh, well, there we go. Right, more or less completely out now. See if I, I think it's sufficiently far out now to see if I can get it with pliers. So I've got um, a pair of very fine nosed pliers here, the body circlet pliers. Be really very, very careful not to damage the inside of the pump. That's going to come, isn't it? That is going to come. I do very much hope that I've got the right new seal when I get this one out. No. Probably easier with two, oh, okay. two people, but I never have two people. Got it. Well, that is really quite, quite in a bad way, isn't it? Clean it up a bit. One, two, two, four, seven. Thank God for that. So the new one I've got is the right one. So that's inside the old one. It really does look pretty tired, doesn't it? I mean, we've just had lockdown in the UK, so. It's been sitting in salt water and not moving for eight or nine weeks. Perhaps that's done for it. I'll just have a poke around with a, my little tool to see if I can find any evidence of the spring in there. I'll have to let go of the... No, there's just mush in there, there's no spring. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up the pump and squash my new seal in. Let's have a look what's in there. Can't see much really. Right, so I'll give it a, a wipe round and put the new seal in. Right, it's time to put the new seal on. Right, so remember the spring has to face forwards. Quite a, nice, quite a nice fit over the spindle. Now it has to go in absolutely level. Um, some people use a socket. Um, I'm going to use because I'm cautious about these things. I'm going to use a bit of quite thick rubber hose, which is about the right diameter. I'm pushing on that now. I'm trying to get it even. And because the hose is a bit wider than the seal, I'm hoping that it won't um, push the seal in too far. Right. right, I think I'm happy with that now. It's perhaps just a shade under the surface, but uh, the impeller is quite a tight fit, so I'm pretty sure it will seal um, from the front. Um, on the left is a brand new seal. I had two in stock. And on the right is the seal that came out. And you can see, um, you can see that it's been quite a lot widened out, the uh, worn out seal. Uh, there's the, there's the, uh, the old one. Sorry, there's the new one on the left and the old one on the right. So hopefully the new one will be better. We'll put it all back together and try out. Well, the seems okay now. Um, I can't see any sea water leaks. Once nice and cool, it shows that it's pumping. We'll have a look out the stern. 